Greetings, friends, Facebook friends. Greetings, family. This is missionary evangelist Tony and Marge Abram, who sound like they, or at least he, sounds like he has a frog in his throat. Well, I heard Bob Hope tell this joke back in the 40s. He said, uh, I slept in the yard last night and I forgot to sh close the gate. Well, uh, earlier this week, I was uh, diagnosed with COVID. And you can see it's affected my speech. Uh, but we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let it be, well, let it be Third John 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health as your soul prospers. And guess what? We tried, but Margie, my precious wife of 60 years and, and two weeks, she also came down with it, almost very similar. And of course, I won't mention who, but one of our good friends gave it to us, I think, after church on Sunday last week. So anyways, on this Christmas Day, uh, we're rejoicing by ourselves once again. And I'm going to just tell them about something after you read this, Marge. Yes, I'm reading from Matthew's account of the birth of Jesus from Matthew 1, verses 18 to 21. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now, Tony, the greatest gift of all was not placed under the tree, but upon the tree where Jesus gave his life. He was the greatest gift that ever was given. And thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift in Second Corinthians 9.15. Yes, thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift, and his name shall be called Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And I can say I've been saved by the grace of God. And I like to encourage you folks that pray, because we pray for a lot of people on Facebook and then on the other platforms that when we're on Prayer for America with Brother Walter and Sister Nina Zagrabich, we pray for a lot of people. And you pray for us, too, that we get over this real, real quick. And uh, my voice uh, means a lot to me. So, anyways, <clears throat> pray for us, and we're praying for you. Uh, let me just tell one, we spend Christmas alone. This is not the first time, and this is our 61st Christmas together. But uh, we, I think one of the saddest and yet most precious, one I told, I think, on a Prayer for America the other day in more detail. But Marge and I, we had spent about a year in Australia, and we were planning about six churches there and from our crusades, and we were the only full-time traveling itinerant ministry of all denominations at that time. And uh, here was Sunday, uh, not Sunday, but uh, Christmas. It might have been a Sunday. I don't know what day of week it was. I'll have to look it up back in the 60s. And uh, here we were going to be all alone. We had a half a lamb that she had roasted because then you could buy a half a lamb for two Australian dollars, which was about two dollars and 
25 cents American money and uh, even even le- even less Canadian money and uh, well anyways here she had roasted uh, that lamb and we were looking across the table getting ready to eat and asked the blessing and although we had spent a number of Christmases already uh, apart uh, this was this was one of the first, second one or third one, not apart, but together apart from family. Uh, this was one of the uh, one of the one that was touched our heart a lot, because as we looked across that, it was a 19 foot travel trailer, and not like the ones in North America with bathrooms and so forth, uh, but it had a had a little cooker in there. And Marge was able to uh, uh, cook in a, fr- a f- electric frying pan. That's how you did it, Marge. Yeah. And uh, we had electric. Roasted it. Ro- you roasted it, however you made it. It was good. And we looked at each other, holding hands across the little table. And we felt so alone. And then it came to both of us. We weren't alone. We remembered the words of Jesus. Who said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. Jesus will never leave us. He is always with us. And so remember this on this Christmas. If you find yourself alone or family or you're stranded in North America, they're having Terrible storms, a lot of people wanted to be home with family, but they're not. So pray for them. And we ask you to pray for us. We want to get over this COVID as quick as we can so that we, we can be. And we are. We're for oh boy, we I was hurting on on my on Tuesday and uh we recovered a lot. <laughs> Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. I am God. the Lord that healeth it, thee. Amen. Praise By the Lord. his stripes we were healed. He himself took our sickness and infirmities. He bore them. And if he bore them, we don't have to bear them. Amen. Amen. Well, why don't you shout hallelujah? You're not alone. Jesus is with you. And if you're fortunate to have your family there, so much the better. Well, we love you. Remember how we end our regular programs when we tell our mission stories? And this is kind of a mission story. Australia, uh, from North America, halfway around the world. We don't have no kangaroos, no, no, uh, parrots around, uh, the trailer or out in a bush. And I don't know who's the closest people to us. I, I, it must be a long ways. But anyways, it's also, uh, about a week or two before my father passed away, a couple weeks. And I remember, well, that's another story. Anyways, we love you, uh, but g- remember, God, God loves, loves you, you more. more. We're trying to finish up here. Remember, watch us on Christ, uh, on Prayer for 